Wow, look at that carbon fiber. We've got the LCE performance version, so we have a nice and loud car. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Al. My name is Max, and today, well, what a day. We've been invited by LCE Performance in the south of Germany to come and drive their Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. It is, well, it's not a limited car really, but they are going to build a limited amount during a certain period of time. But of course, it is the most extreme car Mercedes AMG builds right now. And well, I have to say that in real life, it is even crazier than on pictures. So I hope that on this video, you'll be able to see how crazy it really is. Uh, but I mean, again, big thanks to LCE Performance. They are a tuning company and they have developed an exhaust for this car. So we have a custom exhaust, a mid pipe for this car to make it sound a bit better because apparently it was a bit too quiet for their liking. So they decided to fix that. So today I'm going to show you around it, show you all the cool stuff on it, and then we'll take it for a little drive on the Autobahn. Uh, yeah, for an Autobahn blast, and we'll see what we can do. It is 8.30 in the evening, so should be okay. Okay, so the GT Black Series. There have been five uh, Black Series cars before this one. It started with the SLK 55 Black Series. The CLK came after that, the SL65, the C63 and the SLS. Those are the five Black Series cars and this is number six. And up until now, I, I think the first five are actually a bit different from this one because this one is so track focused and, and so dedicated. The other ones were more like drama cars, you know, especially the earlier ones, the, the CLK and I mean, I remember the C63 Black Series video from Top Gear was all smoke. So that's not really what this car is about. This car is supposed to be the competitor to a Porsche GT2 RS. So a real track monster. Now, AMG also held the Nordschleife uh, lap record for a while with this car. I think Porsche just took it back with the GT2 RS uh, by Monti Racing. And... Um, that's that's basically to show how crazy this car is. Uh, let's start at the front because we've got this gaping mouth, this grille at the front, which is basically the same as you get on the GT3 race car. So the AMG GT3 race car, basically. Uh, it is massive. We've got bigger intercoolers behind that and we've got this ridiculous splitter. It is super pronounced. And if you thought that this was big, there's even more underneath here. So this is manually adjustable and you can pull a lever here and it will slide forward, but I'm not sure how to put it back. So I'm not going to pull it forward, uh, but it's again like that. Uh, but that's really for the track. Now, of course, we also have this ridiculous hood. And you can see this beautiful shape, all this carpet fiber uh, to let air out of here. It is a beautiful hood. It is so, there's so much happening. Little intake there, more vents here, and of course these louvers here, and you can actually see the tire there. Uh, so it's a really hardcore uh, car, especially from an aero uh, point of view, because there is a lot of aero on this. As I said, it's manually adjustable. Uh, we've got these little winglets here, and there's a lot going on to optimize airflow, to, you know, this is here to let out turbulent air from the wheel wells. So are these little vents here. So it's all designed to make the car go around the track the fastest way possible. And of course the most controllable. We also have new light units here, which are mega aggressive. And uh, we've got these forged AMG wheels. Now these are kind of similar to the other AMG wheels, but they are forged, so that is better. It's stronger and lighter. And behind that, we've got AMG carbon ceramic brakes, which are a little bit bigger in diameter than the carbon ceramics on the GTR Pro. Now, the GTR Pro is basically the GT3 RS, uh, that, that kind of stuff, so manually adjustable suspension and stuff like that. Uh, and the GTR, the regular GTR, is like a GT3, and this is like a GT2 RS. That's basically how they've been set up now. And that also means that you get these bespoke Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 R tires. 
and the I mean these are super serious almost semi slicks and um, they have this really beautiful velvety line all the way around which looks really cool and you can actually see here that this is the MO1A tire so that is the softest compound you can get uh, there's also an MO2 which is a little bit harder <clears throat> but the brakes and the tires are amazing we've got some side skirts down here carbon fiber as well the car is a little bit wider than the GTR Pro and of course at the rear we've got this ridiculous rear wing now I have to say that on pictures, on video, it doesn't really do the car justice because it, it looks like just a GTR Pro with a massive wing on top, but it's not. There is so much happening and the wing just really finishes it off. Now this is manually adjustable. Both these uh, wings are manually adjustable and this part is adaptive. So this acts as an air brake. So this uh, comes up, I can show you actually. Okay, so if I press this button, you can hear it whirring over there. It raises the center part of the spoiler. And this is done if you uh, select track mode, the thing raises automatically and it's used as an air brake, as I said. So this is really to stabilize the rear of the car, but it looks absolutely mental. It is so cool. It's like a full on GT3 wing. Uh, and we've got a massive carbon fiber bumper and diffuser with four massive tailpipes. But luckily we've got the LCE performance version. So we have a nice and loud car. So it's pretty freaking insane. Uh, develops around 800 kilos of downforce at top speed, this car, which is a lot. Okay. Let's take a look at the engine. So this is, wow, look at that carbon fiber and this air duct. Uh, this is the M1784 liter V8 bi-turbo, uh, but it has a new code name at AMG. So it's the M178 LS2. And it's actually quite a bit different from the GTR Pro engine. So this has got bigger turbochargers from the GT four door and it's got a flat plane crank instead of a cross plane. Now this allows them to boost the power a little bit more easily and um, apparently it has something to do with the intake and the exhaust tract to have a more uniform pressure, something like that. Um, I don't really know what that means, but that's some info for you guys. Uh, this engine now actually develops 730 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. Uh, compared to the 585 of the GTR Pro. So that's quite a big bump. Uh, different camshafts, bigger intercoolers. A lot has been done to boost the power of this engine. Other than that, we've got a big fan down here. Carbon fiber with Marcus Pfeiffer, his name on there. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the rear because there's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so let's open the boot. And you can see that this is all carbon fiber too. So is the roof and so is the bonnet. So that's a lot of weight saving. And we've got a titanium roll cage in here as well. More weight saving, but a very cool feature is that they added these like bump stops. And these things are mounted directly on the chassis so that is because this wing develops so much downforce it actually presses down the wing so hard that they needed to add these uh, things to compensate that i mean we have seen that with the alfa romeo julia q that it actually scrapes the paint off the car because the uh, trunk lid is pushed down so hard because of the little spoiler that sits on there but can, can you imagine the amount of pressure that this downforce that this generates so they had to include those two which is really cool you can manually adjust the torsion beams at the front and at the rear the suspension is adjustable as well we've got adaptive dampers uh, the body underneath has been strengthened as well and we've got ball joint bearings uh, on the rear wishbones so you have some more contact there and some more control so everything that went into this car went into aero 
and handling and I mean that power is is insane but it's almost like not as important as the rest and that's why I mean this is a very expensive car <laughs> it's like I don't know how much uh, it's like a hundred grand more expensive than a GT2 RS, I think. I mean, you can feel that a lot of stuff, a lot of time and engineering has gone into this car. Because there's so much that has been changed. So much. On the interior, we've got a lot of Alcantara and with orange stitching. You can also choose to have this in grey, but orange is cool. With these AMG seats, bucket seats with an orange stripe. And we've got lighter door cards and lighter glass at the front and at the rear as well to save weight. So it's th only 35 kilos lighter than an AMG GTR Pro, but keep in mind they added a lot of stuff as well. So that's why that's not that much. Um, yeah, for the driving part, I mean, we're going to take it to the Autobahn because we're not really familiar in this area, so we're just going to do the Autobahn stuff. Maybe if we find a nice road, we'll do some other stuff later on as well. So we're in Sport Plus mode. And I'm going to lower that because that is just more drag, which we don't want on the Autobahn. That's more if you go on track. I go right, yeah. So we've got a seven speed dual clutch gearbox, which is the same as in, uh, uh, that's our friend from earlier, uh, which is the same as in the GTR Pro, of course, but it's got shorter gear ratios. This car attracts some attention. It's really insane. I think it's that massive wing on the rear, but the car in general just looks so racy and aggressive. I think, oh, it's actually pretty empty here. I think that the overall stance of the car like really attracts people. The red line is at around 7,200 RPM. But it sounds so much more racy now less like dramatic you know it's not producing as much burbles and and crackles it's just putting fuel it's taking fuel and, and transforming that into forward motion that's all it wants to do it is super fast as well and it just it is so insanely urgent. The power delivery combined with that short ratio gearbox is, it's really insane. It's, it's one of the coolest experiences in a car. The, the flat plane crank always adds something special. I mean, a Ferrari 458 has it, a, a Shelby GT350 has it. It just adds something special to a car. It also has a different firing order than uh, a GTR Pro. So again, you know, they did change quite a lot. Uh, and it just feels so planted. That's 200 plus in this corner, which is... <laughs> I mean, that's a corner, right? That's not a little corner. Okay, so. Zero to 100 should be done in 3.2 seconds. Top speed, 325, only 325. Of course, because of that big rear wing. this 
corner. But it is hella impressive. It does feel completely different from any other AMG GT. I mean, they've been around for, I don't know how long, six years, I think, introduced in 2015. But this is, uh, this is the craziest one, obviously. I mean, I know I'm stating the obvious, but you, it's, it's insane how big the difference actually is between this and the GTR Pro. It really is, it feels like a different car because of that engine, because of the increased urgency in the drivetrain. The GTR Pro also handles insanely good, but this with that added power, 730 horsepower, 800 newton meters of torque, who just finished recording the GT2 RS review also by LCE Performance with a little easier remap but this it comes very very close to that GT2 RS it is a magnificent car it is so freaking quick we did 5.63 100 to 200 which is really really fast it's the second fastest stock car we've tested I think or maybe the third fastest Okay, well, that's it for this little bit different review, a little bit shorter than normally, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one, guys. Bye.